Hi everybody, it's Eric and time for our video conversation. Really good news this week. My roommate, the whip, Steve Scalise, was welcomed back on the house floor. As many may remember, it was three months and 14 days ago, he was tragically shot and came near death uh, on a baseball field as a part of our congressional baseball practice and then the game that took place. The whole house was cheering for him, bipartisanly excited to have him back. An attack on one is an attack on all of us. And another reminder why civility, restraint, and that discourse is so important as a part of even today's political debate in society. Uh, also had a chance to welcome the Finnish president to Minnesota this week, uh, celebrating 100 years of independence uh, in Finland with our heritage, of course. I'm a quarter Finnish myself. It was fun to welcome him. Also had a chance to meet with Annie and Pam, who were part of the Angels for Adoption awardees, uh, receiving uh, recognition for the great work they've done promoting adoption on behalf of also the late KSTP broadcaster, Rod Simons. Uh, it was great to welcome them and uh, have uh, Annie in particular uh, spend some time with me on the House floor. Big work, big week on tax reform as well, we'll talk about in a little bit, but here's the first question, and that comes in from Paula in Plymouth. She actually writes an email and she says, Representative Paulson, I, along with America's small businesses and other hardworking taxpayers, have been struggling under high tax rates for years. It's time that we rally together to change that. Tax cuts for small businesses will do a substantial amount of good for the U.S. economy and everyone in it. Businesses would be able to use these savings to create more jobs, increase wages, and expand new locations, which would provide a boost to the economy and ensure continued economic growth. Thanks for your help. Paula. Paula, actually, thanks for sharing your thoughts. As you know, I'm on the Ways and Means Committee. We've been working on a tax reform plan for a number of years, and the framework was rolled out just this week. It's an exciting week for Minnesotans in particular because small business is at the heart and center of where reforms are. Reducing the rate for small businesses down to 25%, separating small business income from individual income for many who pay under an individual high rate as high as 39.6%, uh, for the first time in history. It'll be really important for this. It allows small businesses to hire one, two, three more people, invest in more capital equipment. We also have immediate expensing so they can buy that capital equipment, those computers uh, that's so important in terms of investing in their own infrastructure um, and also making sure that our larger companies are able to bring earnings back home to the United States to keep our headquarters here. Bottom line, it's good for American workers, American manufacturers, American jobs and lifting our economy. We need to move that forward in, in the next couple of weeks. Next up is an email from Andy in Eden Prairie, and Andy writes in, Congressman Paulson, please protect the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness from proposed sulfide ore copper mining on the Wilderness Edge. I support the U.S. Forest Service proposal to ban this type of mining on national forest lands in the watershed of the Boundary Waters for 20 years. Sulfide ore copper mining threatens the unmatched paddling, fishing, hunting, and recreational opportunities, as well as the sustainable regional economy that depends on the Wilderness and Voyagers National Park. I appreciate your help. Thank you, Andy. Andy, thanks for writing in. It is imperative that we protect a very important icon, not only in Minnesota, uh, but in terms of the country. This is one of the most premier, pristine wilderness areas. I frequently attend, uh, spend my time with family and friends in the Boundary Waters growing up, have many lifelong memories. It is our Yellowstone National Park right at home. I support, just as the administration is continuing from the last administration, the continued uh, two-year economic review that's being put on right now through the forestry department, making sure that review goes forward because this type of mining could have a devastating impact. So we should study the science, make sure all the I's are dotted, the T's are crossed before anything moves forward. Uh, there was an amendment that was offered recently by some other Minnesotans in Congress that would have removed that restriction and, and re re removed and defunded that uh, environmental study. I oppose that amendment. I don't think that's the right direction to go. We should make sure we're looking at every avenue to protect the boundary waters. Thanks for sharing your thoughts, your conversations. Continue to reach out anytime. I appreciate anyone that's spent, everyone who's been spending time in their personal office hour visits with myself. You can reach me on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook, and of course, at the website at paulson.house.gov.